so now what we're going to do is go over importing tracks, um, creating tracks, and navigating the timeline. I mean, very important things in order to really get, get the process going with editing anything uh, audio-based in Audacity. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you do, we're going to talk about is importing audio tracks. Simple. All you're going to do is go up here to File, come down to Import, click Audio, and you're going to look for the file. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. How to download Audacity. No, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's work with this one. I think this is it. And you you know just let it let it do it let it let it go ahead and uh, yeah here here it is it's the right one so I'm gonna click on it and uh, this one right here this is some audio that I got from uh, doing a screen recording okay and so when I did a screen recording it wasn't recorded in stereo it was recorded in mono and it was set up a certain way so what anyway I have to break this up so this is real simple just click on this little black arrow right here come down to split stereo to mono and bam all right so there you go there, there your tracks in here so for instance if you were to import a stereo track it, it would just be fine you wouldn't have to do that or vice versa if it was just a mono track and it wasn't like a mono just didn't just record one 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 uh, side of it left or right then you can just bring in the mo uh, track but i did that only because of how the uh, audio was recorded so it's a mono track okay cool so creating a track it's real simple you just go to tracks add new and you can either do the audio track which is a mono track or you can hit right here the stereo track and you see how this is to the left and right okay stereo is usually for music mono is usually for you know vocals okay so that's how you create tracks that's how you import tracks now, this is where these different tools come into play, right? Remember I told you about these in the uh, in the tour section? So this is your selecting selectors tool. This is very, very important. You can do, you can select, a, you know, a piece of your audio like that. Just click on it and, and drag it, okay? You can just click anywhere on the timeline. And again, these are seconds equaling to minutes, right? And uh, if I was to push play right here, you could see where it is graphically on the timeline because it's, you know, matching up right here. Okay. And I don't want to overcomplicate this. Okay. But this is another tool right here. This is the time shift tool. This is where you can like move the track here. You see how I have that little yellow line that right there shows you that it's locked in place right there. And you can actually go further, but you want to just lock it back in place. So you can't move through the track with that. You can only select with this tool or go anywhere on the timeline. I might as well also show you this too. Um, so for instance, say this is where you want to start editing. You click right there and you can zoom in or you can zoom out. And say you get lost. 